when Home and Away's final episodes of 2023 aired on Australian screens in November, it appeared that Remy Carter was dead, and Eden Fowler was soon to suffer the same fate. As the season returned to Australia on Monday 8th January, Eden found herself tied up in the guy's house, as they struggled to work out their next move. Wes insisted that take Remy and dig a second hole to hide him, but as they went to pull Remy's body out of the car, he groaned and moved slightly. He was alive after all. Panicking, they headed back into the house, where Eden learned of the good news. Remarkably, she managed to convince them to let Remy go, as it was clear that he was too out of it and would never be able to identify them. Mickey, clearly the more sympathetic of the pair, who desperately wanted Wes to do the right thing, dropped Remy by the side of a nearby road before calling an ambulance. The Ambos soon arrived and took him straight to Northern District's hospital for urgent treatment. In Tuesday's episode, Bree was about to take Remy to CT when Summer Bay's newest doctor Levi, Tristan Gorey, a cardiothoracic surgeon, interrupted and ordered an immediate ultrasound. He found a cardiac effusion, a buildup of fluid around the heart, and warned Bree that he was on the verge of a full arrest. Levi insisted that they opened him up right away, despite Bree's pleas that he needed a full set of scans before they did so. Levi ignored her claiming that Brie was simply too emotionally invested and that she wouldn't be saying this if it was any other patient. Remy thankfully pulled through, although Levi explained that while he was stable, he still had a long way to do. Brie accused him of being reckless and arrogant. She was furious with Levi for performing such a risky procedure, one which doesn't have a great survival rate, without more scans. Is a huge Brie and Levi feud on the way? Back at the bad guy's house and Eden was desperately trying to convince the guys to let her go. She overheard Wes explaining that she knew their names and faces, and that they needed to get rid of her. Mickey insisted that it would be murder, but Wes replied, not if she's not found, it won't, before deciding that they would do it first thing the following morning. Cash, meanwhile, was trying to figure out why Remy was found without his motorbike, and how that connected to Eden's disappearance. Dana, Ali Harris, walked through the hospital with a bag of Remy's belongings, Cash happened to spot that it contained a bracelet of Eden's, proof that the two had met up at some point since her disappearance. Cash and Rose then headed to the spot where Remy was found, but found nothing. Rose suggested they head to a nearby garage and see if they had any CCTV, something which proved fruitful when they found that only one car had passed the servo at the time of the 000 call. Getting its address, they sped towards the guy's house. At the house, the men were preparing to bundle Eden back into the car to meet her fate. Eden made a brief attempt to escape in an opportune moment, and managed to punch Wes in the stomach just as Cash and Eden drove around the corner to the remote house. Cash quickly apprehended Wes, as Rose cuffed Mickey. Later, back in Summer Bay, it was confirmed that the pair were behind bars, though Eden would need to go in and make a statement. Is this the last we'll see of the two guys, and will Mickey face the same fate? despite his efforts to free Remy and Eden? Everything seemed to be resolving itself as Eden headed to Northern District's hospital alongside Cash, where they paid Remy a visit. However, in the final few moments of Tuesday's episode, as Eden went to head for a shower, she collapsed in Cash's arms.